Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I am playing Fallout 4. Now, again, not much has progressed with the building of my sanctuary settlement, but I have done a little bit. Let me show you. The front gate is slowly being built, and as you can see here, it's coming together quite nicely. So, let me just make it out front to show you fellas and ladies. Check this out. So, there we go. I went with the defense... I'm not sure what you call them, they're not pillboxes, but the, the defense structures. That way I can assign guards into them and I'm going to have a guard in basically each of them. Probably have some turrets put here or there. Now, I... First of all, let's get something out of the way. You may be looking at this and thinking, how the hell did he do that? Because everything is fitting together so nicely. Well, I'll be honest, I cheat. Now, I want to try and make this Let's Play as pure as possible. In the sense that, you know, I'm not going to use any cheats to give me items or any building materials. But I did use a cheat to allow me to go in ghost mode and I'm going to explain why here in a moment so as you can see everything is lined up perfectly pretty well like if things are clipping into each other that's fine but I mean this little gate entrance has two doors idea is enemy comes in you know they're in this little kill zone here unfortunately you can't lock the gates and whether or not they can just walk through them I don't know but the idea is is that if anyone comes in they get through the first gate I can actually shoot through the little chicken wire here to kill anyone inside now that was probably the best kind of fence I could do here I could have made it half height but I wanted something a bit more I wanted something a bit bulkier something a bit more full give it that proper wastelandish look now I mean I can make things look very nice and pretty with some of the materials available but I didn't want to do that I mean this is the wasteland I want it to look as messed up and junky as possible so yeah anyway let's move on so okay the cheat i was talking about now you have to have your console enabled for this now if it's not enabled you're gonna have to in the wherever you've got steam installed and this is for pc only as far as i'm aware there'll be a fallout to ini and i believe it's something like b enable console equals one basically it's going to look like this you want to make sure that is in your fallout.ini file which is located inside your steam directory in the fallout folder but uh, it will basically give you this console and it may and you activate it by the tilde key although that button will vary depending on whatever your keyboard settings are set to so how this works let me show you so let's see we'll go into build mode now I can't place this fence here because you know this other fence this doorway is blocking it so what you have to do is you'll bring up your console and type in TL, uh, TCL that will turn collision off now one thing to point out with this this actually makes you become uh, a ghost You've got no collision. It's like no clip mode in Half-Life if you've ever messed with it. So yes, you can fly and stuff like that. And it would probably make it easier to build. But I want to point out I haven't been using this. I'm merely showing it you now as an example. But what you do. Let's say I want this item to stay where it is. I want this doorway to stay right there. But I want to build right up against it. I want something clipping through. Well, this is what you've got to do. You've got to select it. And if you want it to go back where it was just hit tab to cancel it so now that's there and there's no collision anything can travel through it whereas this one well, okay I can travel through anything because I've got ghost mode on but my point is I can now pick this up and because this doorway on the left does not technically exist because there's no collision to it I can now place this like so now if I turn off collision by typing TCL into the console again as you can see, collision is back on and I cannot pass through. So this is essentially what I've done 
while building this. Now, I don't really see it that much of a cheat because, honestly, as soon as someone releases, like, a mod that will allow me to, like, clip through uh, objects, I'm going to use it, even though this is going to be a somewhat vanilla playthrough. There are just a few things that could do with changing in this to make this game absolutely perfect. And I think most people agree that the building system is good, but uh, a few more tweaks, it would have been perfect. So yeah, that's what I've been doing to get everything to line up. Unfortunately though, it does not work, as far as I'm aware, with buildings, although thinking about it, I wonder. See, I want to be very careful with my save because this is my main save for this series, but... Oops. As I say that, I accidentally do what I was trying to avoid doing. Let's see. Did this just do what I think it did? No, it didn't. Okay. So, it may be possible to select a, an object, a building, that's pre-existing in the world and remove collision from it. I don't know what the console command is, but you never know. If you can find it, you could probably remove collision with, you know, the houses, the walls, and then, then you can place stuff inside and build for it. So that's always going to be nice. In fact, just one more test I want to quickly try. And uh, let's do it with... Uh, hell, this doesn't even require collision. But let's say I wanted to get that in there. No, it's, collision's still in effect. Okay, never mind. Never mind. So. Yeah, that, that is a neat tip I uh, saw on Reddit, and hopefully I explained it clearly enough for you guys in case you want to use it. Now, as I said, I'm not going to be using it to fly around in combat, or I'm not going to be using any cheats that give me unlimited building supplies. I want to do this as legit as possible, but while it, when it comes down to placing stuff and trying to build, you know, I, I think it's fine to do this. Anyway. A couple of things happened. I, uh... I had a little accident, I was recording uh, Fallout, this uh, series, and I did a couple of videos worth of content and found out that my audio was messed up so I wasn't able to release those videos. But just to make you aware, I basically went out exploring into the world and then I went down to... Well first of all, here's what happened, we finished up the quests here which basically finish planting food and uh, get a defense up so the turret up here you know you've seen that now this turret you know so all the quests for sanctuary and how to build basically the tutorial is finished and um, I was told that I can go claim another settlement uh, called Starlights drive in. I haven't been there yet. I've heard a lot of people mention it's a really good place to build because it's flat. It's something I'll check out at some point. But right now though, there's something I need to go do. Raider trouble at Oblan Station. Now where is that? Because I've heard that quests will continue on without you being there. And if you don't get to them, they can count as fa uh, failed, so my guess is that people are going to die over there unless I get there and help them out. Now I'm wondering, can I get Preston to come with me Sir, and fight with me rather than use the dog? That's what I'd like to find out. No one's sleeping yet, so everyone's just out here somewhere being a pain. Quick look around and see if we can find Preston. God, this world is so grey and gloomy. It's kind of hard to see people. All my stuff's growing, which is perfect. good. 
but we're surviving. Okay. And again, I also invested perks into intelligence to unlock the scrapper ability. That way I can break down weapons for all their little bits and pieces, which is going to be very useful. Not to mention that the more intelligence you have, the more experience you'll get as you level up. So, you know, works quite well. Sturgis, where the hell is Preston? I want to take someone who's got a gun, who's, you know, half decent, but every time I look for him, he's off somewhere. There he is. I got word of a settlement that needs our help. I'll mark it on your map. We can use all the support we can get, so see what you can do to help. So there's another one. Okay. okay. Let's rest a second. Is there something you need? Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. I think the folks here can manage on their own now. Thanks to you. Right, cool. So he's going to come with me. We'll leave this uh, settlement unprotected. It should be okay, though. So now we've got two things we need to help out with. Question is, where are they? First place is here, Obland Station. If we go to Corvana, Corvega Assembly Plants, we should be able to go a little bit south and go help them out. I believe it's just raiders, so we'll go take care of them. And then I'm going to have to go help with that ghoul situation. I'm going to probably avoid trying to accept any more quests because I don't want to be stuck with a time limit. Now we're going to be sort of, you know, taking over this wasteland and making sure everyone's safe. It's going to be, you know, fair and all that, but anyone who crosses that line, it's going to be no mercy, so... Again, the dog is a nice companion to have. I like the fact that he holds people in place so you can shoot them, that's awesome. But I'd like to try something a little bit different, so I'm going to roll with this guy. Hopefully he won't die. I don't know if he can, but... I just want to try something a little bit different, as I've said. I'm seeing fires up there, I don't really want to go up there and tangle just yet. Military frequency found, we'll check that out later. Now I know I've mentioned I'm going to get a mod to basically make settlement building a bit easier and if there's a mod that adds more objects you know I'm probably going to get that too. I'm going to keep the mods to a minimum though because I will do a modded series eventually. But what I would like to mention, a mod has just come out I believe that adds more armor pieces or armor slots and I'm thinking about getting it because that will allow me to wear clothing what are you gonna do with that like the uh the drifter outfit and then i can still put you know armor pieces on top of that because there are some really cool outfits in this in this game like some really cool ones with like physics for the clothing uh you know movement stuff like that but you don't get to check it out because you can't put extra armor on so they end up being very weak and there's like no point to using it but, um, but yeah. That's one mod I may get. Oh hell, trouble's breaking out here. I quite like this little rifle, it's nice. I need to start naming my weapons so I can organize them a bit better. place is pretty grim. Firing stopped, that's not necessarily a good thing. Uh, hello? <clears throat> Wake up the gun points, I'll put my weapon away. Take your time. Did the Minutemen send you? I am the Minutemen. 
Yes, I'm here to help. What's the problem? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies. Threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Any idea how many raiders we're talking about? No telling, I'm afraid. This time there were three, but who knows how many are back at their base. All right, all right. How far away are they? All right, come on, Preston. We'll get over there, we'll shoot them up. How do we cross this river? We can go all the way around there. Or we could probably swim it a little bit. I'll try and hop to. Oh god. Screw it, we're swimming. We're swimming. Oh, I see. Yeah, I thought that was like a little island. Never mind. Just got a mouthful of radiation. Can't be too bad, right? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, son of a... I just crossed the, the river for no reason. Holy Christ, my map reading skills are atrocious. And now I don't know where my companion is. Bollocks. Alright, we're going to have to go under the bridge. This looks real enough. Skulls and beer, okay. And again. Oh my god. Hello? Across right of scum. Oh god, what is that? Oh god, that's a raider in some bloody armor. Uh, yikes. Critical time. Preston could really do with your help. should have sniper rifle. Very poor sniper rifle. Take it back. Oh god, I can't see. I'm gonna have to keep using this. Oh, he's got no armor there. Got him. Preston, where are you? Oh, I should have brought the dog. I've learned my lesson. Learned my lesson, should bring the dog next time. Nice. 
Nice. Alright, I need to heal. I could do with food rather than trying to use the rest of my stems because I don't have many left. Grilled Rad Roach, there we go. It's a nice top up. Alright, here we go. We're going to have to run and swim. God. Submachine gun. Take it and break it down if need be. I wonder if I can go and get that power armor suit and then bring it bring it home. That seems like a smart plan. He's got lots of bits and pieces here. Hell, I want to take all this because we can break it down, as I said, that was the point of getting that skill. Gonna give me a bunch of gears and screws and aluminium and all that good stuff. Sweet. Perfect. There's still someone else here though. We're gonna have to be careful of that, but first I gotta loot. Loot all the things. Gum drops and buff out. Okay. I don't, oh, it was just a dog. There we go. No oh, refuse. Collar. Okay, so that went fairly well. That went fairly well. Right then. I guess next time we're gonna go down to that apparel. Uh, apparel. We're gonna go to that clothing store and we're gonna wipe out the raiders that are currently stationed there. And uh, yeah, that'll be our good deed for the day.